shout out to Andrina's Creations. This is her sneaker box um, template. It came with, this is the main piece. It came with the two flaps on the side, the piece on the back, and then that main piece. That other piece right there was the top. I like to go ahead and cut my pieces out and smooth them out already, like pre-made them. Um, here I am just adding the side pieces that middle piece you'll see in a minute is in a minute it's just a metallic piece i i bought um offline and i actually don't like it because it was kind of flimsy but it made it do it did its justice for what i was just trying to do was just make this template and there's the other side of the template box so the template comes in um one size but i kind of catered it to my liking right there that back piece was me um applying a little bit of glue to some double-sided tape um i do that from time to time i like to try different methods to see what i really like so that piece right there i cannot remember where i um, bought it from but i won't be buying it again so i ain't even gonna tell you what it is and i'm just smoothing it out um with this little dollar tree little smooth squeegee y'all so right here is me doing the top pieces um, the top side pieces and this is actually for a uh, a gift box for a young lady that owns a trucking company in my hometown um and she she hunts so i figured i'd do this little thing for her and that little piece right there y'all oh my god it must have took me like 12 times to get it but any hoodle this is the top piece of of that box of my sneaker box and i'm just adjusting it because to my liking it goes in between And if you don't want it to look goofy, please put it inside the day on um, four marks like like you're supposed to. And again, I'm just smoothing it out. Here's a a little um, a little tool I bought from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of pointed at the end. It had like a little scoring tool and a needle point at the end. And I just use it helps a lot when I um have my double sided tape and can't pull it up because I bought some damn nails and I know I don't normally wear nails, but because I want to look cute okay that's another sword but here i'm just picking the paper off um the back of my uh one of my pieces to glue it to that piece right that side piece right there to glue it to see the struggle is real sometimes sometimes you got to move that thing around sometimes you got to turn it to the other end smooth it out i mean it, you, you just have to make it do what it do when you're a crafter you just make shit happen okay and i'm just laying it down right there for you guys again this template came from andrina's creations she has a an abundance of cute little party favorite templates y'all y'all gone by that girl template if, and, and and don't even try to the 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 duplicate the sell it get that girl her do just you see what i'm saying shout out the money bag yo you see what i'm saying i'm gonna make it see what i'm saying okay well anyway here we go back here we, here we go y'all back to the back to the um to the, to, to the video here i am just i'm doing the sides i'm just um using this glue this tacky glue and i kind of like this glue because um if you leave it on for like a few seconds i like the tackiness of it which um adheres to the the um to the cardstock very well for me and shout out to cardstock with card stock warehouse oh my god and don't do not sleep on these people y'all do not sleep they have beautiful beautiful car stock and their packaging is bomb and next and, and and i'm i'm gonna order some more so that i'll do a reveal or uh unboxing um on their cards card stock but um very very wide selection right here is the um, i can't remember the name of it but it's like this chocolate brown and i want to say it's like a 110 pound card stock so guys do not you're looking for some card stock that is the company to get some from um, I haven't tried anyone else yet, but I am trying different companies to see what I like or what I want to add into my collection of cardstock. And here I am right here just um, sealing the side pieces um, and that top flap right there. I'm going to wait a second because I want to make sure that all my pieces are, the, are aligned correctly to the box itself. And here I am again. Just turning it around, flipping it around, and like I, like I said, you know, if you are a crafter, then you know you you make things happen. And I normally have like a little um, which got a little clothes pin, but your girl was just too lazy to get up. I was just already in my zone, and I was just like, mm -mm, I ain't getting up. Mm -mm. 
we, we, we just gonna make this happen so you'll see me kind of struggling with one side and as the other side is coming over but it's okay it, it, it i mean we do what we do you know what i'm saying so i am very new to cricut design as well so it's been like a learning curve for me so um the next time i do one I, I am going to do it. I want to say I'm going to probably do it live, you know, because it, it it's it's a learning curve, but it's, it's fun. I've done a lot of cussing, a lot of drinking, and I'm trying to tell you, that's how I learned that little program. But I absolutely love my Maker 3, my Cricut Maker 3, and I plan on doing a lot more with it um, in the future. But right now, I am focused on my party favor business and incorporating, incorporating these shoe boxes along with a... Uh, an abundance of other things that Andrina Creations keep making me buy and make and Lord have mercy. But here we are right here, y'all. We just adding a little glue and it's acting like he ain't wanna wanna he ain't wanna come out. But it's okay. We 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 gonna shake it and shake it to the it come on out. But you don't need to add a whole lot of glue, guys. You you really don't. Um and I think um I added a little bit too much with me doing this process right here. Um, because you just, again, you just don't want your box to look goofy and coming out on the side. You just, who, nobody has time for the extra. You know what I'm saying? We all about making money, making progress, saving time and multitasking all at one time. Like this, this is a once and done kind of thing with me. You, you know what I'm saying? Just once and done. We going to get it. See, see how I made a little mistake, but it happens. So here's the, um, we back over here to this box and we about to seal the box down. So that those are the two top flaps. Like I was telling you before that I waited to the last part to do and I, I like to like pull my sides open a little bit side kind of and just kind of form it I mean I, I you saw what I did so I don't know if I kind of explained that correctly but that's what I did and here my little and and I normally use the wider one um my little squeegee but this kind of got in like the little corners um for me like to make sure everything was aligned perfectly like I'm doing right here um, like I said, a dollar twenty-five. It has a, a multi-purpose and girl. I use that label, but I end up not liking that label, so I took it off. And um, you'll see in the end what the label looks like. Why did I paint? Why did I even do your like? What was I thinking of? Like maybe that was the the Patron. I don't. I don't know. Maybe one too many shots of the Patron. I, I don't. Here are just a few um, of the ones that I've done. Here are a couple of other boxes that I've done. Hey, if this has brought you any value, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because this is what we do around here. Happy crafting. Bye.